anyone, and I mean anyone, who has money invested in the precious metals mining sector or is thinking about deploying capital into the precious metal mining sector needs to watch this video. I've got three critical factors that you need to consider when you're evaluating your investments in the metals sector. Factors that to me point toward outstanding value at this point. Some people might be thinking of selling, getting out. Look, I don't have a crystal ball. Nobody does. But what I can tell you is that right now there's three things that point toward outstanding value propositions within the precious metals mining sector. I'm going to tell you about those and a lot more. Let's get started right now. Even more important than these three critical factors is the fact that you, yes you, decided to join me right now here in Ron's basement. You are always welcome here. Please come back. You can subscribe to my channel, give the video a thumbs up, hit the bell notifications, but just know that you're always welcome here in the basement and I'll look forward to seeing you again next time. Now let's talk about these three critical factors that point toward outstanding value within the precious metals mining sector. Number one, financial condition. With any company, even as an individual, financial condition is paramount. And when you look at the balance sheet, when you look at the overall condition of the companies in the precious metals mining sector, what you see are companies with huge amounts of assets and very little debt. Now you need to look at each company individually, but what you'll find is that generally that's the case. Most of these companies have very little to zero debt on their balance sheets. It'd be like you as an individual, you know, having your house with no mortgage, your house is paid off, your cars are paid off, uh, you've got some money saved up in the bank, you've got a ton of assets with no or very little debt, and that's the situation that many many of the mining companies find themselves in right now. But wait, there's even more. They also have a huge amount of very valuable assets. These companies have tons of gold and silver resources in the ground. The gold and silver are there waiting to be harvested. And at some point in the future, that will be the case and that will be reflected in their share price. Now, one more thing that I want to mention regarding these stocks. With the current depressed price environment for the stocks, you're often able to buy the assets of these companies for almost 50 cents on the dollar. The net tangible assets, the net assets of the company after you pay off their debt are oftentimes two times or more the level of the market capitalization of the companies. They are representing very astounding value propositions. The second factor that you need to consider are historic comparisons. When you compare the current price of gold to the current price of the major gold mining indexes, the GDX, the GDXJ, the comparisons are astounding. Many, many, many times in the past when the price of gold was significantly lower than it is today, the price of the gold mining stock indexes was actually significantly higher than it is today. And the third and final thing that we need to consider is sentiment. Sentiment has never been lower in the precious metals mining sector. And while I'm not a big technical analysis guy, the people that are are saying that gold, silver, and the mining stocks have almost never been this oversold in the past. Hey, look, none of this means that the prices of these stocks can't go lower or that they're going to immediately skyrocket from here. However, if you look at a lot of the outside factors and you take an objective view of what's gone on in the sector, and if you believe in the long-term thesis for higher precious metals prices, this might be a good time to be a buyer when there's so many other sellers out there right now. Hey, I don't have a crystal ball. This is not financial advice. I'm just sharing my thoughts, sharing my opinions. Number one, again, I appreciate you joining me 
here in the basement. I hope you come back, and until next time, you be well.